The Faraday Lab, Kakogawa, Japan, presents the Candle Lecture by Yuichi Morimoto and Robin Eve. A recreation of the Christmas lectures originally given by Michael Faraday at the Royal Institution London and recorded in his book The Chemical History of a Candle, 1861. The lecture is in four parts. Part 1, the wax. Part 2, the air. Part 3, the vapor. Part 4, the light. Part 1, the wax. In the first part, we look at the properties of wax and discuss why wax is used to make candles. We do an experiment to show the way that liquids rise through porous solids. Part 2. The air. In the second part, we see how air is necessary for burning. We do an experiment to show how much fresh air a candle needs. We look at the patterns of airflow around a burning candle by looking at the shadow of a candle flame. We consider flames of different shapes and we play the game of Snapdragon. Part 3 The Vapor In the third part, we look at the vapor at the heart of the candle flame we see that the ball of fire surrounding the unburnt vapour produces a ring of soot on a card. We can extract the vapour from the flame in different ways. One is to put out the flame and relight the rising hot vapour. Another is to put a glass pipe into the flame, collect the vapor in a cup, and light that vapor. Part 4 The Light In the fourth part, we look at what produces the light. A light that Faraday described as a self-lighting, living, liquid diamond. We learn that it is the particles of carbon made in the flame which burn with a bright light. We see how solids, when heated, produce light. And at the end of our lecture, we remind ourselves of the spirit of inquiry that leads us on to discover new things in science. The final words are from Michael Faraday. Now, as young inquiring chemists, we must learn to disregard nothing but secure every fact and say, what does this mean?